Hi everyone, it's Mari here for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this A2 size card that you can see here with a gorgeous, lovely layers mum die set from Honey Bee. I'm going to be using the largest die from that set and what I've done here with my A2 size card base is I've layered over top of it an A2 size card front and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut through both of those layers with the largest die from that floral and what that's going to do is create an opening in my card front and my card base. I've got all of the pieces of the Lovely Layers Mom die set cut out now with some white cardstock. And what I'm going to do is put each of those pieces on my waffle flower stencil mat, and I'm going to do some ink blending over these layers to create some really beautiful color for my mom. The color palette that I'm going for here is really rich purple and blue, and you could use any of your inks that you have in your stash for this. Here I'm using Catherine Pooler Glam, and dress blues but you could use dusty concord and blueprint sketch from your distress inks um, whatever you have in your stash uh, that are colors that you love it doesn't even have to be obviously purple and blue but I really wanted to work with this combination I think it's really pretty for fall and I think these are just like gorgeous rich beautiful jewel tones and I'm just going to try to create a little bit of that deep dark purple around the very edges the tips of the petals and I'm trying to go in with that dark blue and create like a center bursting out of the center of the mum with that really beautiful rich blue color so I'm just going in with that blending brush and blending from the outside edge into the center with the purple and then I'm going to just go out from the center out to the outer petals with that blue. Now I am using I'm not using my honeybee brushes because I need to purchase another set of honeybee brushes for my dye inks. I definitely need to do that. My next honeybee order is going to purchase more of their brushes. I love their brushes and I love to use them. They're definitely my favorite blending brushes in my stash, but I don't have a set dedicated to dye inks yet. So all of my honeybee brushes right now are dedicated to oxides and I don't cross those over over to my dye inks. So um, I love the ink blending with these we with the brushes. I think it's really fun to do. It's a super, super easy and fun way to colorize your different elements of your pieces. So the lovely layers are so fun to um, ink blend with. It's a really easy way to colorize them with whatever color of ink you have in your stash. So you can see with the very center pieces, I'm trying to go in with the darkest blue for those in the for that very main center piece so that the center is going to be that really deep blue and you'll see that I'm going to show you here when it's all finished so I love how that looks I think it's so pretty it's really striking on the card front now the die set also includes another little flower another little mom it's a little bud that's just opening and I'm going to colorize these in just the same way I'm going to start off with that purple trying to get it darkest purple on the tips and then I'm going to add some blue over top now the photograph of my finished card makes it look quite a bit makes the little bud look quite a bit darker than it actually is but I did go quite heavy with the dark blue it's not it almost looks black in the photograph but it's not that dark hopefully that shows up here in the video and I just love that color combination I think it's stunning so um, purple and blue play nice together obviously and I'm also going to add a pop of green now again just use whatever um, green inks you have in your stash I'm using a combination of a couple of dye inks that I have in my stash here again wanted something a little bit brighter and you'll actually see me adding a little bit of almost like an aqua color so if you are using your distress inks you definitely will have no trouble finding a really beautiful bright ink combo in your distress ink line the distress inks from um, from di the distress line are quite a bit brighter than the oxides the oxides are a little more chalky looking so if you're going for more of the bright look that I'm using here definitely use your distress inks if you have those in your stash so here's where I'm just adding a little bit of that aqua color to those leaves so that they just have that little bit of bright green and the sort of darker green and then the aqua on them and now I'm going to use my honeybee shimmer um, watercolor I love this stuff it is so beautiful I'm just going to dump a little bit out onto my table here and then I'm just going to splatter it over all of the different flower pieces I'm going to do this when the flower is like fully layered together and then the you can see the buds are not layered together but that's fine but what 
that's going to achieve is just this really gorgeous sparkle and shine on my florals. Now I'm going to start to assemble my flower. Now you can see how this little window on the front of the card is going to allow that layered flower just to pop through. I think it's a really pretty effect. And so that first layer, I'm just making sure that it's going to be lined up with that outer layer that I've cut through the front of my um, card base and now I'm just going to go ahead and add all of the layers of the flower over top starting with the biggest and then working my way to the smallest. Of course there is a graphic there's actually a graphic that comes along with the packaging for this die set. There's actually a, a code a code that you can use with your camera on the the packaging so you can scan the code and it will take you exactly to the place where you can look at the graphic for putting this together with it which I think is genius but this is super easy to put together what I do is I look for the common um, petal the petal that looks the same on each one of the pieces that's the great thing about honeybee is they make this super super easy to put together so you just look for that one common piece and you find that and you put them you layer them together in that way or you can also use the graphic, which does make it super simple. And as you can see, when I'm layering these together, just with my Honey Bee Liquid Adhesive, what this does is it just starts to create that dimension with the flower. It's so pretty, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love that, oh my gosh. And you can just see that that dark blue in the center is so dramatic. It's just a really nice color combo, definitely a dramatic color combo for sure. But you can also just see how that shimmery watercolor is just going to pop and sparkle on the card. Love that so much. So now I'm just going to quickly put my little bud together here. I'm just going to use my liquid adhesive again in the same way that I did for the large mum. And that little bottom piece there is just going to be the little greenery that's on the bottom part of the leaves that are that are on the bottom part of the bud. So I didn't blend those on most of the, the base here. And now for the top part, it's, it is blended in green. So I'm just going to put that on there and get that ready to go and then of course here's my card front I actually die, uh, ran that through my die cutting machine with the swirling leaves a2 cover plate to add some texture to it and I've also got this frame I will make sure to link everything up in the description box below for you I'm going to add this scallop frame that just kind of like frames in the flower and you can just take uh, if you have a scallop die that's full you can actually just cut the center out of it for a frame which makes it super easy and now I'm just going to grab my adhesive I'm going to glue this on the I'm going to add some glue onto the back of this cover plate piece here you can see the opening that I die cut when I first started here and I'm going to add that onto that card base and everything's going to line up just perfectly here for that little window. Now I'm going to add my little bud onto the front of my card as well as the stem. The stem is part of that die set so you can die cut a stem for the little bud. You could die cut a stem for the large mum if you want as well and you can just see how pretty that reveal is when you open up the card. There's just that stunning flower on the inside. Now I'm also going to be using the foil script wishes hot foil plates to create my sentiment. That hot foil plate system does have a coordinating die set with it which is fantastic and the sentiment for the project today is sending our love which I think looks really ni nice. I'm popping that up on a little bit of foam adhesive to finish off my card and I'm also going to finish off with some Aurora Borealis gems. I love these. They're gorgeous and they're the perfect color for this card. So I'm going to add those on with my pen blade. That's going to finish up my card friends. I hope you enjoyed this today. Make sure you check the description box below for links to all of the products that I've used today. I had so much fun creating this for you. I hope you guys stay safe and well and I'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye.